George loved going to Mabel's department store. I know there's a lot you like to do here, but let's not stay too long, okay? I just need to buy some shoelaces. <laughs> George did have a lot of stuff he liked to do at Mabel's. In the TV department, he liked to see how many monkeys he could become. <laughs> Over in gift wrap, he liked to help the lady tie up packages. <laughs> and he really liked to ride the escalator, always remembering to hold on to the rails. George, over here. What do you think, huh? <laughs> yeah, I like him too. <laughs> oh, and thanks for checking in. The place George loved best was the kids' department. George saw something he'd never seen before. Where did the train come from? And where did it go? <laughs> George had to find out. <laughs> so that's where it came from that little lamp on the table. <laughs> George found that when the train moved across his hand, it got a lot smaller. So he thought he'd try an experiment. Sure enough, when the lamp was close to the screen, the train got smaller. But as the lamp got further away, the train got bigger. Ooh. That's really something, huh? <laughs> you want to see how it works? <laughs> now, see how the train has been cut out of the lampshade? Now the light shines through it, and voila! And if you don't like trains, we've got ponies, race cars, aardvarks. Now that George knew how the lampshade worked, he couldn't wait to get home and make one. Meanwhile, the man with the yellow hat was waiting to pay for his new clothes. <laughs> Sorry, George, I still have to pay, but it shouldn't take too long. I hope. seven people ahead of me. Five more people, and then it's my turn. Three more to go. I'll be out in a jiffy. Listen, why don't you go home and I'll meet you there. Please make your purchases now. I'm trying, okay? George couldn't wait for his light picture to move across his own room. <laughs> but wait, how did it move? <laughs> Mabel's department store is now closed. Please make your way to the exit. It was a great day to fly a kite with a friend. Kite flying friends are forever. Whoa. Even if good weather isn't. Hey, come back here!
I think we need a new kite. <laughs> Bill and George took their piggy banks to the store to buy a new kite. Let's get that one, George. George? <sighs> that is the kite we gotta buy. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see what we've got. That's two, three. I hope we have enough. Three fifty, five, seven eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven. We need more. No, no. Oh. <sighs> we don't have enough money, George. You know, you could put the kite on layaway. You give us part of the money now, and we'll save the kite for you until you have the rest. <laughs> How long would you like us to hold it? Well, we'll have to find some jobs and earn the money. Today's Friday, which gives us all weekend. Um, we can come back for the kite first thing on Monday? Monday it is. Oh. Come on, George, let's get to work. Huh? Hello, Mr. Quint. This is Bill from Bill and George's Excellent Job Service, where every job we do is excellent. George and I were wondering if you had any, um, jobs you'd like done this weekend? You do? Great! Thank you! Yes, we'll be there right on time. We got another one! <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Rankins. This is Bill from Bill and George's Excellent Job Service, where every job we do is excellent. Okay, and then after we pull the weeds, we'll go over here and walk the dogs, then over here and mow the lawn, then to the lake and paint the shed, then to the farm and pick apples, then we rake more leaves, clean a garage, wash some windows, stack some cans. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Right, it is kind of confusing. <laughs> and it's a lot to do. <sighs> I got it! <sighs> we'll get everything organized. We'll make a schedule. <laughs> a schedule. I use them all the time to keep myself A1 perfectly organized. We'll put each job on a card, then we'll put all the cards in order from the closest job to the one that's farthest away. <laughs> that way, minimize our travel time and maximize our work time. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we should also figure out how much time we can spend at each job if we want to finish by Monday. But hey, no problem. So after we pull the weeds, we'll have exactly 20 minutes to walk the dogs, 25 minutes to mow the lawn, etc., etc., which leaves us 45 minutes to pick apples at the Rankins. <laughs> then on Monday morning, we get our kite. <laughs> but only if we finish all our jobs. So we have to stick to this schedule. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it was deep winter. A time when the whole world seems snowy and cold. Here we are. But this year was the snowiest and coldest ever. Come on. It was so cold that Jumpy Squirrel had decided to move indoors. The house had everything. It was warm, it was quiet, and thanks to Jumpy, it had lots of nuts. <laughs> it is cold in here. Let's turn up the heat. The 
man and the monkey were back. <laughs> Jumpy had to get out fast. <laughs> but no sooner was he out than he wanted back in. Luckily, Jumpy had a lot of in and outdoors. Now he just needed to sneak past the monkey. Huh? But monkeys have very sharp ears. have to fix that. There we go. Hi, George. Huh? <laughs> well, we can't leave holes in the house. All the heat will get out. <laughs> no, Jumpy needs to stay outside. There's more food for him out here. He'll be happier in his own home. George wasn't so sure about that. And neither was Jumpy. It was way too cold. His door was sealed shut. But Jumpy still had another squirrel door upstairs. What was that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Your friend Jumpy has been very busy. Ooh. No wonder the house is so drafty. <sighs> okay. We have got to insulate this house. Huh? Insulate. It means keep the warm air in and the cold air out. OK, cold, ready or not, here we come. First, the man sealed around the windows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the caulk is squishy, so you can fill the holes and keep cold air out. You want to try? Italian chefs have a word for perfectly cooked spaghetti. Al dente, which means not too hard and not too soft. <laughs> Tonight, Chef Pischetti's pasta was not al dente. Huh? It was glop. Huh? Did I hear her? Did she come back? <sighs> I think something's bothering Chef Pischetti. It's gnocchi. I cannot concentrate on my cooking because my beloved piccolo gatto has abandoned me. <laughs> Matty! The accordion! Ah, uh, here we go again. Oh, no more happy times watching her play hat o pesto. Now, Gnocchi only stays for breakfast. And then, poof! We don't see her till bedtime. Why? What did I do? Oh, she used to play in the alley all day. Oh, look. Here she is on an old canvas drop cloth that someone threw out. <laughs> the way she clawed at it. <laughs> I think she was afraid of it. Oh, 
and the old cardboard boxes. <laughs> those were always getting in her way. <laughs> oh, those old carpets! <laughs> she liked them, but they always made her fur so dirty. And there she is waiting by the old wooden door. Oh, she scratched and scratched and scratched it, wanting to go in and out, so I got her a new one. With the cat door. <laughs> she can't mess this one up. It's metal. And I clean the garbage out of the alley to make it neat for her. But the next day, she's a vamoose. Yucky! You see, too tired to play with the papa anymore. Uh, Bean burrito. <gasps> Is this from a menu? Oh, you think Gnocchi likes burritos better than bolognese? Gnocchi would never do that. Or would she? No. Well, maybe, yeah. no. Ah, I cannot take it anymore. I must know where she's eating these burritos. Why not follow her? Me? Follow a gnocchi? Oh, the scampering, the leaping. Oh. The chef was right. You had to be a cat to follow a cat. Or a monkey. <laughs> Giorgio, you will follow my gnocchi? <laughs> if gnocchi was eating burritos, George would find out. But early the next morning, instead of going to a burrito place, gnocchi went to a boat. But why would Gnocchi go to a boat? George was determined to find out. burritos in those bags. George would show the chef. Pretty city committee pod number seven, come to order. George was honored when Steve asked him to be part of his pod. As you know, the mayor has declared today city purification day. That's right, Steve. Pods will be fanning out all over the city to pick up litter and, well, make the city pretty. Right again, Steve. Later this afternoon, I will pick a winner. <laughs> Pods will be judged according to the prettiness of their streets, the amount of trash they collect, and their can-do spirit. Steve asked me to mention that the winning pod will get their picture on this pretty city poster. <laughs> Ah, can't you just see my face? I mean, our pod plastered all over the city? <laughs> Good luck, Pod 7. I'll see you at 3 o'clock sharp for the judging. I expect great prettification. Okay, everyone. You know your assignments? Let's go. Yes. Yes. I wrote it down in my litter log. And does everyone have an official Pretty City Committee trash bag? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Then let's go make our city pretty. <laughs> seven, 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 that's our pod. We're, We're gonna, gonna do a super job. George's assignment was to clean up his own street. But George's street was already pretty pretty. <laughs> Hey! Huh? 
You're welcome to take whatever you want. Just put what you don't want back in the boxes, okay? <laughs> well, at least George now had a job to do. <gasps> Wait a minute. Why would anybody throw out a pirate ship? Even if it was a little broken. George really wanted to keep it. George decided to use one of his bags for trash and the other for treasure. This heart-shaped box was definitely treasure. He could use it to store pictures. Keys? They might unlock something really interesting. George found more things to add to his treasures. And what was that? George didn't know, but it was shiny and it made a nice click. George also kept the square pig and the red bottle, which was the same color as the heart box. And of course he couldn't throw out this painted whatever it was. Or the round glasses. Or the yellow daffodil. George's sack of treasures filled up fast. He needed to empty it. Every monkey needs a blue watch. <laughs> and a couple of yellow ducks. 